Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these elegant seed beads and pikons earrings. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials like this and you help me so much. Without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11-0 seed beads and here I use 3mm indigo color bicons and these are earring findings in silver color, they are liver bags, you could use any type of earring findings you like. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. And by the way, you could check description for a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, let's continue. Here I'm using size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back. And what I'm going to do next is pick up four of these beautiful bicons. Okay, I have them here on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I make it like I show you always. I make a loop and I go twice through this loop I've made and I pull and I make one more knot. Okay. Now this is what I have in the center of my work. And then I'm going in the next bicon. Now I'm going to take one white bead and I'm going in the next bicon. Then again a white and go in the next one. And I'm going to repeat this two more times. And now I have this. Okay, and in my next step, I'm going here in this white bead and I'm going to add four white beads. Okay, I have four of those. And as I'm exiting from one of the whites, I'm going through the other one. Just like this. Then again, I need four. And I repeat exit out of one of the whites. I'm going in the other one. And of course, I'm going to repeat this two more times to finish this work, this row. Okay, guys, and now I have this beautiful element. Now in my next step, as I'm exiting through this bead here, the inner angle, I will go through two of the four beads that I added in the previous row. And here I want just one chameleon bead. And I go through the next two, like this. Then here guys, I want just one chameleon bead and I'm going in the next two. Then again one and go here. And one at the inner angle. Go through two. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Ok 
okay now I have this and I want to go here through this bit that I added in my previous row through the chameleon bit that's sticking out the most okay and now I'm going to add three chameleon beads here I have my three and I go in the next chameleon that's sticking out the most then I need three more and go here in the next chameleon and I will repeat these guys adding three beads and connecting the chameleons that stick out and when I finish this row I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm back with my last three beads that I'm adding here okay and now I want to go through two beads from here and now I'm in the middle of these three beads that I added in my previous row this is the middle one of the three and I'm exiting out of it and what I need to add are three white beads and I go back through this middle one here okay now I have this you see I have a loop between this bead and these three other beads then I go in the next chameleon bead guys and what I want to do is take one white bead and I'm adding it here at the angle and then I go through two more beads in this direction and now I'm in the center of the three beads that I have next then I take three and I go backwards through this bead here in circle just like this just like I showed you in the previous step and when I pull I have this then I go through the next one here guys I'm at the angle and here I want to add one white bead then of course go through two because I want to exit in the middle one of the three that I added in my previous step then take three again like I did before go back like this and you could also go through the following seed bead not just around that you're adding beads to but in the next one because in this way you save one movement you see now you could directly add the next bead okay like this and I'll show you one more time how I'm adding the three beads and let you do this by yourself until the end because it's nothing complicated nothing difficult you add one three one three and continue this and meet me here if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and see okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row and you see this is a cute element that is formed here guys and what I want to do is go through one of those white beads and I'm going to pick up five of these beautiful chameleon beads okay five of them and I will skip here the top and go here in the middle white bead now I'm going to pick up just one chameleon bead going back through this central one in circle and attaching it like this you see I have a loop between this white and this chameleon bead you see it is attached here now I'm exiting out of the white and I go in this white and now I'm in a position to add five again like I did in my previous step okay I have five and I'm skipping here the top I'm going through this white and just to save time through the following white which is single white 
and I want to add one chameleon go back through it and just to save time also go through the following white then again I need five beads guys okay five and I go here and through the following white just like this I take one go back through this white and through the following white just to save time then I'm going to show you one more time how I'm adding five beads and I'm sure you're gonna be able to continue until this the end of this row okay I have five I skip this one and go like this so if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat from here on what I did up to here and I'll meet you at this end okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last chameleon bead from this row here and now what I want to do is go in this direction and in my next row I'm gonna be adding white beads in order to do this I'm going like this through this three chameleon beads here at this corner the inner angle or corner and I take three white beads and I go back in circle through these three beads again just like this so I'm going once through them adding three and going back in circle through them again okay this is what I have then what I need is to repeat this step until the end and I'm gonna be showing you this two more times okay I go through these three beads here like this take three white beads and go backwards again through these three beads just like this so when I pull I have something like this and I don't pull too tight at this step okay then as I told you I'm gonna be showing you this three times in total okay here I go through one two three at the inner angle and I take three like this and I go back in circle through these beads and pull gently okay and I'm going to continue this until the end if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and see this step and I'll be back okay and I'm here at the last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row then what I want to do is that I want to reach one of the white beads that are sticking out the most okay here this one that is the middle of the three beads and is sticking out the most and now I'm going to take seven white beads okay I have my seven here on my needle and as I'm exiting through one of the beads that are sticking out I'm going through the other one okay then what I need are another seven beads okay seven again and I'm going again in this bead that is sticking out okay guys and I'm going to repeat this until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row and now I'm going to do an additional row now my thread is one bead away from this inner angle and I'm going to take three chameleon beads okay three of them 
and I'm going back in circle through these three beads here at the angle and I pull okay then what I do is that I go all the way through these seven beads through the angle and through the bead after the angle you see my where my needle is exiting out of one bead after the inner angle and what I need are three chameleon beads and I'm going back in circle through these three beads here just like this going back in circle okay and I'm going to show you this one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay go through all of the beads if you can in one movement if not in two or three movement whichever is easier for you take three and go like this okay guys and i will continue this up to here and when i am at this step i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next and how to attach your earring finding okay guys and i'm here at my last step you see my thread is exiting one white bead away after the angle like i did before and i have my earring finding here and what i want to do is take two seed beads then i'm going to take my earring finding and then i'm going to take two more seed beads okay this is what i have on my needle and i will do the same thing i'm going back through these three beads at the corner but this time as you see with this sequence of beads and the earring finding okay I like to add the earring finding not here or here but I want to add it here in one line with this bicon. It's up to you where you want to add it. It's just what I prefer. Okay and now I want to do a reinforcement and a knot. Okay I'm going like this. Okay, and here what I want to do is find the place to make a knot, let's say here at the angle. And how I make it, I make a loop and I go once and then I go second time through the loop I've made and I pull. And then I go through some beads in this direction. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several more times. But when you're ready with the last knot, go through some beads and cut your thread. And then your earring will be ready. Okay, guys, and now my elegant seed beads and Bicon's earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell. And in this way, you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. You could also check description for a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing and commenting. You don't know how much of a support this is. Bye bye from me.